What does it take to learn English successfully? There are some common qualities such as diligence and a positive attitude that will help you learn any subject. However, when learning a language, there are some more specific tips that will help you reach your goals. Here are our top 10 secrets to master English speaking. Number 1. Master the sounds. English is a language known for its diverse range of sounds, and it's common for non-native English speakers to encounter difficulties with certain sounds that may not exist in their native language. However, with practice and the right resources, anyone can improve their pronunciation and master these sounds. The first step is to identify the specific sounds that are challenging for you. English has several sounds that may not exist in your native language, such as the th sound in words like think and this, the r sound in words like red and run, or the short vowels like a in cat and o in pot. By understanding which sounds are difficult for you, you can focus on them during your practice. Listening to native English speakers is crucial for developing a good ear for the language's sounds. You can watch movies, TV shows, or listen to podcasts or audiobooks to expose yourself to authentic English pronunciation. Mobile apps can be a convenient and interactive way to improve your pronunciation. Use the Clubhouse Social Audio app. Practice speaking English with native speakers or proficient English speakers who can provide you with feedback. This can be done through language exchange programs, conversation groups, or even online platforms where you can connect with English speakers. Their input and corrections will be invaluable for your progress. Number 2. Mind the intonation. Intonation plays a crucial role in English as it helps convey not only the meaning of words but also the speaker's emotions, intentions, and attitudes. The rise and fall of the voice, the patterns of stress and pitch, all contribute to the overall meaning and nuance of spoken English. Intonation helps in distinguishing between statements, questions, and commands. For example, she is going to the park. Is she going to the park? Go to the park. In each case, the intonation pattern changes, reflecting the intended meaning. Rising intonation typically signals a question, while falling intonation indicates a statement or command. Intonation is a powerful tool for expressing emotions in spoken English. The way we emphasize or change the pitch of our voice can reflect feelings like happiness, excitement, surprise, anger, or sadness. For instance, I can't believe it. I won the lottery. I told you not to touch my things. In these examples, the rise or fall in intonation helps convey the speaker's emotional state, enhancing the overall message. Intonation also helps communicate intentions or attitudes. It can indicate sarcasm, irony, skepticism, or doubt. Consider these examples. Oh, that's just great. You're doing a fantastic job. To truly master English intonation, it is helpful to listen to native English speakers and pay attention to their patterns of rise and fall, stress, and pitch. Additionally, there are resources available, such as pronunciation courses, language learning apps, and speech analysis tools that can provide guidance on intonation patterns and offer exercises to help you develop your skills. Number 3. Watch your speed. Speech speed plays a crucial role in effective communication. Speaking too fast can lead to errors, misinterpretations, and difficulties for others to comprehend your message. It's important to maintain a pace that allows for clarity and understanding. Incorporate intentional pauses in your speech to allow yourself and others to absorb the information. Pauses can also help you gather your thoughts and maintain a steady pace. Breathing properly while speaking helps regulate your speed. Take deep breaths before speaking and use natural pauses to inhale and exhale. This will help you maintain a steady rhythm and prevent rushing. If you tend to speak quickly, incorporating visual aids like slides, charts, or props can give your audience additional cues to follow along with your message. Develop the habit of actively listening to others when they speak. By consciously engaging in conversations and taking note of different speaking styles, you can become more aware of your own speed and adjust it accordingly. Number 4. Embrace the idioms. Idioms add color and expressiveness to language, and understanding their meanings can help you communicate more effectively. 
Here are some common idioms and their contextual meanings. Bite the bullet. To face a difficult or unpleasant situation with courage and determination. Example. I didn't want to go to the dentist, but I had to bite the bullet and get my tooth extracted. Break a leg. An expression used to wish someone good luck, especially before a performance. Example. You're going to do great in your piano recital tonight. Break a leg. Hit the nail on the head to accurately identify or describe the main point or issue. Example. You hit the nail on the head with your analysis of the problem. That's exactly what's causing the delays. A piece of cake, something that is very easy or effortless. Example, don't worry about the exam. I studied a lot and it turned out to be a piece of cake. Once in a blue moon, something that happens very rarely or infrequently. Example, I don't usually go out on weekdays, but I might make an exception once in a blue moon. Remember, idioms are figurative expressions, and their meanings are not always predictable from the individual words used. It's essential to understand their contextual usage to use them appropriately. Number five, tangle with tongue twisters. Tongue twisters are indeed a delightful and engaging way to improve your pronunciation skills and enhance your spoken English. They help you develop clarity, dexterity, and accuracy in articulating words. Here are a few tongue twisters for you to try. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Challenge. Repeat this phrase rapidly without stumbling over the words. She sells seashells by the seashore. Challenge. Say this phrase as quickly as possible without tripping over the repeated sounds. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Challenge. Try saying this tongue twister multiple times, gradually increasing your speed and clarity. Unique New York, New York's unique. Challenge. Say this phrase multiple times, aiming for precise pronunciation and smooth delivery. Remember, the key to mastering tongue twisters is to start slowly and gradually increase your speed. With practice, you'll improve your pronunciation skills and have fun in the process. Number six, mirror, mirror. Practicing speaking in front of a mirror can be a valuable tool for improving various aspects of communication, including pronunciation, rhythm, and nonverbal communication. Speaking in front of a mirror helps you gauge your rhythm and pacing. You can observe how your words flow and whether you're speaking too fast or too slowly. By practicing in front of a mirror, you can develop a more natural and balanced rhythm, ensuring that your speech is easy to follow and understand. Communication involves more than just words. Nonverbal cues, such as facial expressions, gestures, and body language play a significant role in conveying your message. When practicing in front of a mirror, you can observe and refine your nonverbal communication skills. Pay attention to your facial expressions, eye contact, posture, and hand movements. This visual feedback allows you to make adjustments and enhance your overall communication effectiveness. Number seven, record and review. Recording your own voice and listening back to it is a powerful technique for self-assessment and improvement in various aspects of communication, including pronunciation. When you listen to a recording of yourself speaking, you can identify any mistakes or areas where you could improve. You may notice pronunciation errors, unclear enunciation of certain words or sounds, or instances where you stumbled or hesitated. This feedback allows you to become aware of specific areas that need attention and correction. Regularly recording yourself and listening back over time enables you to track your progress and see how you've improved. You'll notice the differences in your pronunciation, rhythm, clarity, and overall speaking skills. Recording and listening to your voice helps you become more aware of the specific sounds and intonation patterns in your speech. You can compare your pronunciation with native speakers or pronunciation guides to identify areas where you need to focus. Number eight, find a conversation buddy. Finding a conversation buddy or joining language exchange programs and conversation clubs can greatly enhance your English speaking skills. Speaking regularly with a conversation buddy or participating in conversation clubs provides valuable real life practice. It allows you to apply what you've learned in a practical setting, improve your fluency, and build confidence in communicating with others. 
Building relationships with conversation partners and participating actively in conversation clubs require effort and dedication. The more you engage and practice speaking English, the faster you'll progress in your language journey. Number 9. Hire a tutor or join a course. Hiring an English tutor or joining an online English speaking course can offer structured learning and professional guidance, providing numerous benefits to viewers. Tutors and online courses provide personalized attention, tailoring the learning experience to your specific needs and goals. Tutors and online courses provide a structured learning framework, guiding you through a systematic curriculum. They break down the learning process into manageable units, ensuring a logical progression in your language development. Tutors offer real-time feedback on your language usage, pronunciation, and overall performance. When selecting a tutor or online course, consider factors such as their qualifications, experience, teaching methodology, and reviews from previous students. Number 10. Be persistent. Improving speaking skills in any language is a gradual process that requires consistent effort and practice. It's important to know that persistence is key to success. Consistency is vital for progress. Set aside specific periods each day or week for focused practice sessions. Even short, daily practice sessions can make a significant difference over time. By emphasizing the importance of persistence, regular practice, and a positive mindset, you can stay motivated and committed to your English speaking journey. Improvement will come with time and consistent effort, and every small step counts towards achieving your goal. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe and press that like button. Also, hit the bell icon so you can never miss new updates from us. Thank you for watching, and we will meet you in the next one.